Hi, my name is Kathy Roberts. I am the Tidy Tutor, and I am talking today about things that we've accumulated, mostly, most likely, are going to be in like our attics or in a space in the house that we don't get to too often. Now, I'm going to talk about craft items or things that you buy because you're inspired. Like, you know, you go to a store, you want to make something specifically, and then you end up getting this, that, and the other thing, and it just ends up sitting there, and then the next time you go to the store, you do the same thing. I haven't done this in years, but I did do this, and I can show you the evidence right here. Because I am, you know, in the process of selling my house, I'm in my attic and going through things that normally I don't, because, you know, there's certain things like my fabric and stuff, I only go in there when I want something. I don't really care about de-junking it until now because I'm moving. And because like when you're going to stay put and you're living somewhere and it's your house and you have an attic and you have a box with some fabric and things in it, it's not out of the control. It's not unorderly. It works just fine. But, you know, I'm kind of learning that all stuff ends up being something that can hinder you. And the reason for that is what I'm going through right now, I can't just make a decision and move. There's things I have to do now. There's so much stuff I have to go through that I really didn't think about before. So that's what I'm talking about. And I'm going to show you some of the things, okay? This one particular thing is something that I started about 19 years ago, maybe 20. It's a, um, it's a cross stitch. See, it's almost done. I did it for Emily um, when she was you know, a little baby. Um, I hate to think that I did it for Katie because it does look like something I would have done for Katie, but that would have been 30 years ago. I don't want to believe that. Um, here is something I did and just started, but I never finished it. It is something I started for my nephew, Nicholas, who is now um, just graduated college, right? He's about, can you see it? He's about um, 24 years old, I think, 25. And here it is. Started, but not finished. So there's this. Nice, right? Looks beautiful. Um, let's see. What else do I have in here? Oh, these are great. I, I started to decide I'm, I'm going to knit. I'm going to crochet, actually, is what it was. So I made these. See, the raised roses on a little square thing that will sew together and make a nice comforter. I'm not a comforter, a nice whatever, right? Quilt, blanket. Um, and I have a bunch of those, see? And then there's, um, I think I have a red and white one. Where are they? Oh, they fell, right? This one, see, there's a red and white one. This is for Christmas, right? So I'm gonna end up donating these to um, a group that does crocheting and I have the instructions and they could make a nice blanket or something for somebody. Um, obviously, I'm not going to. So this is just to encourage you, especially if you're just getting start in, started in life, like say you're just getting started with a home and a family. This kind of thing can really, really bog you down. Now, all I had was, you know, like a box this size with stuff in it. And um, this, look, see the bag? This is as thick as the projects were that I was working on. Now, granted, I do have yarn that I still have to deal with, right? I have yarn, so yarn is in like a bag that big, right? But um, I don't have all that much. I'm telling you that it really can become a ridiculous amount of stuff that you will eventually, after a while, feel very weighed down by. So please take my 2020, okay? And um, if you're just getting started, only buy what you need, all right? Don't go to the stores and look around and think, oh, that's nice, oh, that's nice. It ends up hurting your budget, um, making you have things that you don't need, have to have things to put away, and then have things that you actually have to do something with. There's so many things that I can tell you and so many others can tell you that you'll be so sorry for if you really go down that road of buying more that you need and, and just doing stuff that you're actually not going to do. Do what it is that you claim you're going to do until you move on to something else to do. You'll be so sorry if you don't, okay? 
My name is Kathy Roberts. I am the Tidy Tutor and I wanted to share with you my unfinished projects and how it really is hindering me from moving forward even though it's not a lot. It's still stuff and it's still stuff that I have to deal with. Please, if you like this video, please like it. Forward it on to somebody if you think that they'll like it. And subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll know when I put videos out. And if you go to my website, you can put in www.thetidytutor.com and up will come a place where you can put in a name and email and I will send you one tip a day for 10 days that will rock your world.